Hello everyone, welcome to Electric Power Syrup YouTube channel. In today's video, I will show how to load a case and perform a full AC Newton Raphson or power flow. Before we jump into how to do it, I want to quickly introduce few file types that are associated with this task. PSAC has many different file formats for different applications like for dynamics you will use some uh, additional files for optimal power flow there is another type of file you would need so there are a lot of different file formats which PSAC has to perform its different tasks and action this list on the screen is definitely not exhaustive there are many more other types but this is the list which we will use throughout our youtube channels as i cover different topics from our textbook particularly in this video we will look at learn about three different file formats dot raw file is the unprocessed raw file which contains all the raw information of your power system network such as bus data branch generator transformer uh, your hvdc capacitors etc many all those information is present in this file unprocessed dot sld is called slider binary file or you can also call it single line diagram file this is for the visual display of how your grid looks like so all the components and branches different you can take a look visually you can see how the power is flowing from one area to the other and finally the third is dot sav which is the saved case file it's a binary format of the file all it does is when you perform the load flow power flow analysis on your raw data and if you save it as .sav file it basically saves the complete result of the power flow so if next time you load .sav file you already have a solved power flow case it's also a compressed form of data so it saves some disk space and loading this file is much faster as you will notice in some cases so these are the three file format to learn about the you will constantly be using irrespective of different applications because this is where you will can you your system's raw data is available and also you can visualize your network so let's move on to pssc let's i hope uh, you know how to launch pssc as i covered in the previous youtube video i will now load uh, existing example uh, case from our textbook which is in the load flow chapter i will be doing another video where i will teach how to prepare this case or how to create your network from scratch but this video or this tutorial particularly focuses just on how to perform the load flow analysis uh, ac load flow analysis so i go here to file menu click open i need to load my case data i select my uh, example from as i said i'll cover the example 5.4 from chapter 5 of the book i'll load, load the dot raw file and as you can see the file is loaded 
and you can see all the messages available in the output area you can adjust the data area and the output area if you want one of them to be bigger than the other just hover your mouse between these two areas until you see this capacitor kind of symbol click and just drag up or down as per your needs so this is the network data i will also load the single line diagram so that we can visually see how things are moving so i'll select this dot sld file available in the same folder of my raw file i will launch this file as you can see right now there is nothing uh, no power flow balanced if you had load the dot sav file you will by default see the solved solution here as i mentioned the dot sav saves your power flow result case now there are two ways to perform power flow so one is through your menu option you click on power flow go to solution first i'll show you quickly parameters let's switch to full view so in the parameters you can set your different simulation parameters for your general newton raphson gauss seidel other different application i'm not going to cover each of these parameters you can find the description of each of this in pssc documentation i will show you at the end of the video where you can access the pssc documentation but in most cases we will leave all these values to be default for our purpose and application of today's video i'll just uh, click cancel as i don't want to modify anything go back to power flow solution and click solve the second option it will launch this power flow solutions window and you can see you can perform newton raphson gauss seidel method within newton raphson you have multiple different options like full newton raphson decoupled newton raphson fixed slope and uh, different other option again for our purpose today and in most cases in the future we near future videos we will leave these options as default we don't need to modify some of this option may appear by default different for you because uh, it may be like apply immediately selected that's okay both this option for our needs would behave similarly but they do have different purpose beyond the scope of this video all this is again you can find it in the documentation so i will leave this default options and now click solve button as you can see i'll close this you can see the tolerance uh, it reached tolerance in three iterations there's no mismatch and you can now see all the power flow solved values you can visualize how the power is flowing through this ribbon on the toolbar in the right i'll zoom in so you can see here this option yellow it says animate flows so you can click on this and you will see how the power is flowing from one bus to another so this is how you can load your data and single line diagram and perform your ac power flow the second option which i was mentioning one was through this menu bar but the second quick option if you are already familiar with the tool is there is a shortcut for this power flow and you can see here uh, this top left fifth button in the third toolbar and you can click on this and it will solve the power flow notice that when i clicked on this 
the power flow solution pop-up did not appear if you want that pop-up every time you click on solve button go back to power flow solution solve and there is there is this show this window when using the solve toolbar button select this option and click solve or close and next time every time you click this shortcut it will pop up this options again to recap there are these are the two ways to solve newton raphson ac power flow for dc power flow it's another different approach and method i will cover in a separate video so for ac power flow you have power flow menu option solution solve or you can use the shortcut button over here and to animate the flows you need to use this yellow ribbon just select that and you will see the animated line flows i hope you learned how to perform the load flow analysis in pssc in next video i will cover how to create this system from scratch thank you for watching this video please do like subscribe and share to keep and stay tuned with the upcoming videos and information thank you